Sorry, that took me a minute. For some reason, I didn't have everything set up right. So good for you. You're actually watching the video. Uh, you do have a formula quiz Monday. Don't forget about that. There's a formula quiz Monday. And there's a bonus section on there. And I'll probably run this bonus section at least twice, and then I'll change it to something else. But this is a geometry standard. Uh, covers a couple things. It covers 30, 60, 90, 45, 45, 90, 3, 4, 5 special rights, and then the application of these things. So I'm going to go over these. Uh, around the beginning of Chapter 7 last year, which I know you got to because I talked to Ms. Cantrell, I think it's around 7.2. There's a section called Special Right Triangles. One of them happens to be what we call a 30-60-90 pattern. Notice I drew the small angle opposite of the smaller side. That's how it works. Small angle, small side. It's called Hinge Theorem, also in geometry. Anyways, on a 30-60-90 special right triangle, uh, there is a pattern that's established. Uh, if the short leg is X units long, the hypotenuse is twice that. And most kids can see that this hypotenuse is roughly twice that length, you know, just if you just draw a triangle. But we call it 2X. So if this piece was 5, all right, this piece would be 10 because we double it. If this piece was something like 30, well, that would make this piece 15 because we would cut it in half, all right? Now, visually, you can't really tell what the long length is, but the long length happens to be x times the square root of 3. And that's 30, 60, 90 special right pattern. And uh, there's an application problem bit, and I'll go over that in just a minute. Notice if you get this triangle right, you get an extra point, but you must have all the angles and side lengths expressions. The 30 degree angle has to be opposite of x. The 60 degree angle opposite of x roots of 3 and the 2x opposite of the right angle. They, everything has to be in the right place for me to give you credit. And it will be blank, just like this. I won't have the triangle drawn for you. Uh, you also talked about in that section what we call a 45-45-90, or just a 45-45 special, right? is a right triangle, has a right angle. The two acute angles measure 45 degrees. And also in geometry, you learned that congruent angles implies a pair of congruent sides. Now, since this is a pattern, we just call these things that are the same x. And if you come off the side and do a little Pythagorean theorem, which a lot of you still don't know is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and you plug these x's in for a and b, and you do a little Pythagorean theorem, you'll come up with this hypotenuse. So anyways, I plugged in the x's. x squared plus x squared is twice x squared. I want to know what c is, so I'm going to do the opposite of squaring, because that's all we do in math, do the opposite. And the opposite of squaring is square rooting. Now, when you take the square root of something squared, you get the piece inside. You can take the square root of x squared, it's x. However, the square root of 2 is what you call a rational. So think back to 7th grade when we talked about that. That means it's just not going to be pretty. It's a never-ending decimal. So here's your hypotenuse, x roots of 2. So if this piece was something like 7, well, this would just be 7 roots of 2. All right? And say this hypotenuse is 10. So you are sorry. Say the hypotenuse is 10 roots of 2. Well, the root of 2 just disappears, and that short leg or that leg is 10, and so is this one. Uh, also on this week's quiz, we're going to do this, the 3, 4, 5 special right. And I'll replace this with a, a different pattern next week. This one will be replaced because ACT loves 3, 4, 5s, and they like... Uh, 5, 12, 13, so we need to talk about that one, too. But the 3, 4, 5 is a special right triangle. The angle measurements are really, really weird. They're not exact, so we don't ever put angle measurements in. But if you have a short leg of 3, a long leg of 4, and you do Pythagorean theorem, if you do 3 squared plus 4 squared, you get 25, squared of 25 being 5, you get this pattern. 
And that holds true for all multiples. Like if there's a 3, 4, 5, there's a 6, 8, 10. If there's a 3, 4, 5, there's a 9, 12, 15. Okay? So what we do is we just say x. 3x, 4x, and 5x. Or x is the same number. It might be a 2, a 3, or 4, whatever. The pattern holds. And now let's apply these things. Okay? So here's my first triangle. I noticed for starters, there's no angles given. All right, that kind of guarantees that on this quiz, it's a three, four, five. And when I see 35, I think that makes seven fives because that's what 35 is. So I kind of found the multiplier there and I check and make sure that's true. When I see 28, I think seven fours. All right, so what's missing? I have a four, I have a five, I'm missing seven threes. Seven threes makes a 21. So there's the three, four, five example. You could also do Pythagorean theorem, but that takes longer. Uh, this one's obvious. It's a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. And I'm just going to come off the side real quick and jot that pattern down because you can't see what's in my head. And this is what's in my head. Or you could just look up the piece of paper to where it was drawn the first time. Anyways, it's x, x, x roots of 2. Now, you know, the only difference between the hypotenuse and these congruent sides is that the root of 2 disappeared. Technically, you divide by a root of 2. You know, technically, you say, okay, x must be 5 roots of 2 sitting over root of 2. Well, they canceled. So x is 5. Just look at it, kids. The root of 2 disappears, and it disappears through division. The last applied problem on this is this guy. That's a 30, 60, 90, obviously. And I forgot to type in the little angle symbols, or angle, yeah, little degree symbols. Just happens. But this is a 30, 60, 90 pattern. So what I do is I think about the pattern. And yes, you should have it memorized. You did this in geometry. Anyways, the uh, little leg is called X. The hypotenuse is twice that. And the long leg is x times the square root of 3. So on this triangle, I gave you the hypotenuse. You know, just kind of think about what's happening. As we move from the hypotenuse to the short leg, the 2 was divided out, wasn't it? That's what you do. Divide by 2. So that's what I do here. X is 24 over 2. Well, 24 over 2 is 12. Of course, you're not going to be allowed to use a calculator on this thing. You shouldn't have to. Uh, well, now I look at the pattern. I got the middle leg. And you have to go after the middle leg. That's your first priority. Because it's X. It is the unknown. Everything else is a multiple of it. So now I'm going to cycle on down to this leg. You know, and just look over here. What happened? What did you multiply by? You know, hopefully you're actually trying to answer these questions. You multiplied by the root of 3. Now, this isn't something that we go to a calculator and do, kids. You know, it's like we don't go to a calculator and type in 7x. We just say it's 7x. So we're not going to go to a calculator and type in 12 times root of 3, because if you do that, I'm going to call you wrong. I'm going to call it out. It's wrong. You have to learn how to work with numbers, and you have to learn how to be comfortable with them. So I'm just going to literally just attach a root of 3 to it and be done. See how hard that was? Wasn't hard at all. Anyways, there's the bonus section. Uh, this one, if you get both X and Y, you get a half point each. You know, if you get this guy right, you get a point. If you get this guy right, you get a point, and so forth. But, uh, you know, there's only 16 actual questions on this quiz. You have the opportunity here to get way too high of a grade, a 22 out of 16, which is a really outstanding grade if you convert it to a percentage. Go to calculator, type in 22 over 16, you'll see. It's way over 100, way, way over 100. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you watched, and uh, I hope you do better next week. This quiz is Monday. Beginning of class. All right, be studying. Have a good day.